what is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for yet another video and today we have the NG Malls November 2021 releases. Now I'm making this video the day after these releases came out. This video is coming out on the 17th and these releases came out on the 16th. However, I literally had to go to walk just a few minutes after these releases dropped so I was not able to make a video yesterday. But here we are making one today. Most of the November releases have been delayed. A couple are in stock. The Korean Air 747 SPs, um, the DHL TU-204, and the Independence ARCRJ, and the Hellenic Air Force Gulfstream, as well as the TU-204 for China. But uh, also the ARJ-21 here. Uh, this one is also available. Now, most of these models have been delayed, so you know, just stay tuned to whenever those come up. Uh, we're going to talk about some of these delays in the upcoming Model Warcraft News Monthly because there has been a ton of delays. And I think a lot of this has to do with the current sipping crisis that's going on. For example, as of today, in the port of Los Angeles, they have a record 117 sips waiting to go into port. So that has also caused delays with Model Warcraft, including the Gemma Jets shipment of September releases being stuck in port so it'll take quite a while for those to sew up but I think they're going to finally sew up here soon so just be patient your models might take a while to get here and that also affects the NG releases which are a smaller set this month compared to what they normally do they have I think it's 10 models yeah just 10 models this month which for NG models that is a small set now for Gemini Jets this will be a pretty decent set but NG this is small for what they normally do but a lot of this has to do with the fact that they are having sipping delays and so they are making this release smaller I do expect the December release to also be fairly small as well uh, because of the current uh, crisis we're gonna start with the uh, flare 737-800 Charlie Dash Foxtrot Foxtrot Lima Alpha pretty cool model right here now this one is labeled as a 1 to 200 scale model I believe that's a typo it's supposed to be a 1 400 model Let's take a look at the price. Yeah, that's a 1-400 model. Um, pretty cool plane right here. And this is one I will probably be getting for my collection. Because Flair did just start selling the United States. And we'll be talking about that in the next episode of Aviation News this week. Which will be out on Monday. Uh, next up we got one model. This Nigerian Air Force Falcon 7X. 5 November that Foxtrot Golf Victor is the registration. Pretty cool looking airplane. I like this livery. And I know for a lot of people, this is one that they will get. I'm currently waiting for a Falcon that I'm interested in to come out. This is not one I'm looking for, but it's a cool plane nonetheless. Next up, we have two vaults in Australia, 737-700. The very first one is Victor Hotel, that's Victor Bravo Yankee. Cool aircraft. And then the second one is Victor Hotel, that's Victor Bravo Zulu. Both are Dash 700s, Vulture Australia. They are the same plane, but with different registrations and with different names. So Vulture and Australia names their planes a lot like how JetBlue does or other airlines like that. Frontier does as well. Uh, the very first one, the Victor Bravo Yankee, is Kingston Beach. The Victor Bravo Zulu is uh, Cornell Beach or something like that. I'm not super good at pronunciating that, but it's a cool plane nonetheless. Next up, we have a Malaysian 737-800, 9 Mike dash Mike X-ray Charlie, and this one is in the One World with the Negarachu titles or something like that. Again, I'm trying to pronunciate this, but I am not very good at pronouncing this livery. I do like this livery though. I think this Independence livery looks really good, particularly on a Yellow White. It's much better than just a standard with Yellow White. They made the standard Malaysian livery, and now they're doing the One World, which is really cool. Next up, we have two Alitalia A330 200s. First one is Echo India dash Echo India November. This one is in the old livery, but it has the ITA Airways titles right up there, as you can see. ITA just acquired Alitalia, and um, they're putting the ITA titles on some of the aircraft before the repainting of these aircraft is inevitable. This happened with US Airways as well. Uh, when their aircraft were acquired by American, they would put One World titles right here by the emergency door, as obviously American is owned, uh, is uh, not owned, but they are part of the One World Alliance, and US Airways was a Star Alliance member, so they removed all the Star Alliance 
uh, decals and put on One World ones instead. So you'd see that flying on US Airways aircraft for a couple years before they were all eventually repainted. And now that is happening here with ITA, putting the ITA logo right next to the door of the Alitalia aircraft. And eventually these will be repainted into the new and very controversial ITA livery. But I'm, I'm in a wait and see on that one to see what I think of the livery. Um, next up we have another Alitalia A330-200. This one, I don't think it has ITA logos on the door, but this one is an Alitalia A330-200. In their final livery, this livery was super cool. And this aircraft is registered Echo India Death Echo India Kilo, $55.99 with the uh, increased price that we saw a few months ago. But yeah, these two aircraft are really good. I would have bought these a while back if they were just regular Alitalia aircraft. I might still buy them. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I did order my models this month through DG Pilot. So we will see how that goes. But yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, pick these up or not. Uh, next up, we have the Kuwait Airways A330-200s. Uh, 9 Kilo, that's Alpha Papa Alpha, and then 9 Kilo, that's Alpha Papa Bravo. Alpha Papa Bravo is in a 65th years sticker. And they also recently celebrated the 70th anniversary, and they painted that on 2877, which was really cool. I'm not going to sell the pictures for these models because these are ripped off straight off jet photos and I'm not going to do that because, well, I try to give proper credit to every content that I use and uh, just ripping off jet photos photos is not acceptable in my opinion. Next up we have Mahan AR TU-204. Um, this is Sierra Uniform Dash Echo Alpha Foxtrot, $46.99, pretty cool airplane, not one for me, I already picked up the TU-204 that I wanted, which was the Cubana, I believe this is a Dash 100 here, it looks like it is, a longer one, so, that is yet another TU-204 added that, uh, NG Models has released, so, pretty small release, only one model that I'm getting for Sword of the Flare, which I think a lot of people will be getting, but I think those Alitalias will be very popular. And considering the fact that Malaysian aircraft have been really popular from NG, I think the 737-800 will be popular as well. But considering that NG has finally increased their production to fairly large numbers, I don't think any of the models from this month will sell out. As we take a look at last month, some really popular planes came out and none of them sold out. Like the United 752, the United 739, the 3 Southwest, those didn't sell out. The Korean Airs are pretty popular. And some of the other ones like the China Eastern A350s, those haven't sold out. Things like that, none of those sold out. Uh, but obviously most of those were delayed, so that is a fact, but we'll have to see. But NG models making more models is good for everybody. And that is meaning that you have a better chance to get an NG Models model with the current production numbers, which is fantastic for everybody. So, I wanted to quickly give a little bit of a channel update here as we finish the video. Um, you might notice I haven't uploaded recently, and I've just been having some difficulty keeping up with videos along with my walk schedule. And so what I'm going to be doing here in the future is, I'm preparing videos a week in advance. And if I can't get videos prepared a week in advance, you just will go without a couple videos. That's just how it goes. Uh, because I definitely, definitely want to maintain a really high quality of video on this channel. And I will not just let the videos get uploaded without being that standard. So if I can't make a video in time, it just won't be uploaded um, until later. That's how it works here with this channel. And uh, yeah, I do have some content coming very soon. After this video, there will be an airport update, an aviation news this week video. I am going to record a combination model aircraft news monthly for October and November with a special guest, which I'm sure you guys will enjoy that. I'm combining the month because some of my episodes have gotten a little bit delayed and behind. Plus, the last two months have been kind of quiet, so I'm going to compress those two together, and that's to make an approximately 35-45 minute video to, you know, meet the standard length that the, this video series has been going at. Uh, we also have a mass unboxing that should be out next week. I hope you guys will enjoy it. And yeah, it's been a good week so far. I want to thank you all so much for the support and for watching the videos as always. I hope you all have a great day and God bless you. The... Victor Bravo Dulu, <laughs> Dulu, <laughs> where'd that come from?